you're looking for a place to live in France, to retire or slow travel, choosing the best place is part of the adventure. Hi, we're Maya and Emre and we're full-time travelers experiencing Nice, France on the French Riviera, also called the Côte d'Azur. We're going to help you discover what it's like to live in France, specifically what it's like in Nice, a beautiful seaside city in the south of France. Today we're taking you to the exciting and trendy Carabasal district. Nice isn't just one place. Just like Paris, Nice is made up of many neighborhoods all with their own vibe. By the end of this video, you'll have a feel for what gives the Carabasal its unique flavor. You'll also be an international house hunter, getting a glimpse of what kind of places you might live or stay. So let's get to it. If we had to summarize the Carabasal in one word, it would be independent. A beautiful district with a really authentic feel in its creative restaurants and shops. As you head through the Carabasal, you'll see tons of eateries. And guess what? We're already hungry. Tell me, please, there is no Brunch places are very popular in Nice, and the Carabasal is no exception. Hi everyone, we're at Popot Dondin, and I'm having avocado toast. This is basically a poached egg, ramen style, with avocado, and what's this, Maya? Is this avocado too? Yeah. Twice avocado. Mm. That is really good. I'm not big into avocado toast, but this one's pretty awesome. Imagine your daily life here. This might be your bakery, where you can buy painted bread and your baguettes. Pick up a nice piece of steak here and some yummy dessert over there and maybe some cholesterol pills at this pharmacy here. So now that you've had a taste of daily life, let's go check out an apartment here in the Carabasal. Okay, we're gonna go see an apartment here on the third floor. This apartment has been renovated to create a big open space combining the kitchen and living room into one single living area. They sacrificed a bedroom to achieve this, but the living space is spacious and bright with peekaboo views onto Place Durandi from the lovely little balcony. The primary bedroom is also bright and spacious. But the second bedroom might work best with a little crib or as an office. Since you've checked out the inside of a place to live in the Carabasal, before we go to another apartment for sale, let's have a closer look inside some of the signature shops of the Carabasal. So here we are, we're on our way to our next apartment, but here's another beautiful independent shop that I wanted to stop and show you. I don't sew, I don't knit, but I have to say, this is my favorite store and you can enjoy this neighborhood and choose out your favorite store too, but come on and see mine. This family owned yarn shop has been in the Nice Carabasal since 1975. The luscious space of Art Deco lighting and beautiful wood casings was originally a laundry and tailor shop, said one employee who works here to be wrapped in all this color and history. The Carabasal is also the district with the most bookstores. Cute. Oh, very lovely. Cuckoo. 
This fabulous used bookstore is a labyrinth filled with the delicious smell of aged paper and leather. It feels like you're walking into the beginning of a novel and something magical is about to happen. This is another great example of how international Nice is. The little restaurant here is a Turkish cafe and it's run by a Niswa woman who learned how to make Turkish food in Australia. How's that for international? Now let's go see our second apartment in this part of the Carabasel, which borders Simye, a posh hillside district rising from the city. Here we are at our second apartment in a beautiful Art Deco building. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment on the top floor, which is in this case the seventh floor. It has been recently renovated and has two balconies, a lift and a huge rooftop terrace. The terrace is very tempting and quite unique for Nice. Unfortunately, even though the building is well set back from the boulevard, the traffic noise still reaches the terrace and dampens the overall experience a bit. But that's part of life in the city. You live in smaller spaces, up close with neighbors, and with an earshot of traffic, construction, trash pickup trucks, etc. For those who want peace and quiet in the city, it's essential to have good sound insulation in the form of double or even triple glazed windows, which most renovated apartments in Nice have, including this one. This is our first video on a specific neighborhood in Nice. Do you like it? Should we keep covering more neighborhoods in Nice? Please leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Okay, so I want to stop here. We're in the Carabacel. But I want to stop here at Place Marshall to point out this huge construction project. If you look on your map, this looks like a nice greenway, a beautiful park. And eventually it will be again. But right now there's a three year construction project going on. And this is like at least two city blocks all the way around. So as you're looking for your favorite neighborhood, keep in mind that it's great to come here in person and see what's really going on. Now let's take you to your neighborhood park if you choose to live in the Carabacel. This is the Coulee Verte, the Green Corridor, a long green park that separates the Carabacel from the Old Town. With walkways and playgrounds, this park stretches from the Contemporary Art Museum all the way to the sea. Another great thing about the Carabacel is that here is the bus initiation point to get yourself to Villefranche and Beaulieu, two beautiful suburbs of Nice. And that's the bus right over there. And speaking of buses, the Carabacel, like most of the rest of central Nice, is very well served by public transport, including the tram line that takes you directly to the airport. But most of the time, you'll be walking everywhere. It's actually quite easy to get by here without a car. So in summary, here are our top five reasons to choose the Carabacel as your neighborhood if you want to move to Nice. More authentic vibe and fewer tourists, plenty of independent shops, lots of cool restaurants run by up-and-coming chefs, squares and the green corridor all along its side, and still only a 10 to 15 minute walk to the beach. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.